So I knew a perfect circle. If you guys don't know, a perfect circle, they released two new songs. And I love it. A perfect circle can do no wrong, in my opinion. I'm just jamming out that new A Perfect Circle, y'all. A Perfect Circle. I love Josh Freeze. He's the most tasteful, creative drummer, in my opinion. Uh, if you ever wanted to know what serving a song was, Josh Freeze knows how to serve a song. Period. Fight me on that. By the way, this isn't, before I start getting all the Raiders comments, this is a Solus Diaz hat. My boy Austin, who drums for Devil Driver, used to drum for Chimera. He, he drums also in a band called Solus Diaz, Thug Metal. Check it out. I'm just representing for my homeboy, Austin. He's got a new website, too. So look him up, Austin Diamond. Anyway, yeah, people are going to catch on that this is not a Raiders hat eventually. What's up, Anne Marie? I love you, Anne Marie. You're awesome. Uh, it's not, oh, you know what, Chris Summers, you're right, man. I forgot, it's not Josh Freese on the new A Perfect Circle. Uh, I forgot it's the other guy, which he did a great job in my opinion. Like, I forgot it wasn't Josh Freese for a sec. So, Tory Butler. By the way, Tory. Man, if you guys don't know Tory, Tory is like the coolest guy on the freaking planet. All right, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Excel Drumsticks a little uh, promo right now. <laughs> Just bear with me, everyone. Uh, if you don't know about Excel Drumsticks, you gotta check them out. Excel Drumsticks. They make the best sticks on the planet. And they can even put your logo on the sticks if you want. This is a random example. Excel Drumsticks, everybody. Just go to ExcelDrumsticks.com. X-C-E-L Drumsticks. Anyway. Um, so yeah, uh, basically I see people, uh, I see Facebook is really pushing the live video thing. Like as a marketer and a person that promotes things, I try to stay ahead of the curve and, uh, I try to notice what all the social media platforms are doing. And, uh, Facebook is putting a lot of emphasis on videos cause they're trying to topple YouTube. So I figured I'd start making some, uh, live videos and just talking about what I got going on. Not that anybody cares, but you know, uh, you know, it's Facebook. So it's all about me, right? Me, me, me. That's what, that's what social media is. Me, me, me. Look at me. Uh, I see people uh, mentioning MotoGrader on here. I'm no longer a member of MotoGrader, unfortunately. Um, I, you know, I love, I'm a, I love MotoGrader, one of my favorite bands, but, um, I am no longer a member, so I'm moving on to bigger and better things. Um, speaking of MotoGrader, uh, that'll give me a good segue into uh, what I got going on. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm a, I guess among the thousands of things I already do, I'm a magazine editor now, apparently. So I have my own magazine, Making Waves Magazine. Uh, this is issue one. It comes with a free music sampler. And uh, you can get your very own digital copy of this if you just go to makingwaves.digital. So, yeah, makingwaves.digital. Or just look up Making Waves Magazine or look up Swimming with Sharks Entertainment. Swimming with Sharks Entertainment. So, if you don't know what Swimming with Sharks Entertainment is, that's what I'm here to explain, I guess. And just talk to people. Hi, Sarah. Hopped. I don't know how to pronounce your name, Hopped. Mike Weekly from Dirty Machine. God, I love Dirty Machine. 
Matthew James is doing a live video right now of him watching my live video. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah. Um, if you don't know what swimming was, oh, a lot of people wonder, like, what all my different companies are. Like, why do you have eight different companies? And it's all about branding. And e each one does a different thing. Um, I'll explain my health in a sec. People are asking about my health. Um, Swim with Sharks Entertainment. It's, you know, so Swim with Sharks started as a college radio show that I had. When I was studying music in college, I had my own radio show. It was two hours. It was live. I self-produced it, self-hosted it. And um, I started playing local bands on there. And it gave me the confidence and the knowledge to realize that, like, I can promote bands because it was working out. Like, I started booking shows, and I started promoting my own band on the radio station. And so I, ba I basically decided, like, <clears throat> nobody would ever give a shit about my band at the time. And I say that because I was in a local band, you know, I was trying to make it. And I was in a band called Surrealism, S-R-L-S-M. Look it up, S-R-L-S-M. And th these are the guys that I met in college, and we started a band. And we were crazy, psychedelic, like experimental trip metal, we called it. And um, But I could never get anybody to care about my band. And um, I was reading Marilyn Manson's book, Long R Hard Road Out of Hell. And uh, he talks about how like he was a journalist and a writer. And he went by a different name than Marilyn Manson. And uh, he started writing about his own band. And like lots of people cared because there was a, there was this journalist guy writing about his band, so they must be good. And it, it just gave me the idea that like you know, l let me try something different. So I started an entertainment company, Swimming with Sharks Entertainment, and um, like I basically said, hey, it's you know, this is instead of saying, hey, this is Noah from the band Surrealism. I'm the drummer. Please book us or please do this. It was more now it was. I didn't never even mention I was in the band. I just said, hey, this is Noah Shark Robertson from Swimming with Sharks Entertainment. I've got this kick-ass band, Surrealism. I'm managing them now. I'm, and, and then everybody started to care. I started to be able to book us shows. And it was just because I had some kind of name or company behind what I was doing. So that was pretty sweet. So that was a huge revelation. I was like, man, I can do this, you know. And so I started promoting bands. And obviously over the years, touring so much has prevented me from being able to do it as much as I would like. But now that I'm not touring right now and I'm trying to focus on like the music business aspect of my life, take a little break from touring. Cause dude, I gotta be honest. I toured everywhere you can imagine. And I lived in a van for like the past 10 years of my life. So I'm just kind of wanting to be a little bit more comfortable these days, maybe not tour so much. I'm still going to play the drums. You're still going to see musical projects coming from me and all that but um for right now i'm gonna try to take it easy because uh i'm like always the struggling suffering musician like i'm always broke and even though i get to do the craziest stuff imaginable and tour the world and do all this awesome shit um you know i i'm i'm 34 years old i'm about to be 35 so now it's like you know let's focus on my health a little bit let's um be a little bit more comfortable let's get my shit together um, I can't always just be a broke, struggling musician for the rest of my life. Um, but um, anywho, you're still going to see a bunch of cool music stuff coming from me. I'm not done. So I'm, I'm definitely um, – but Swimming with Sharks Entertainment, uh, I started booking and promoting bands through it. And, and I built it up very slowly over the years because I've been touring so much. But um, now what I'm doing is I'm, like, going full force with it. I'm doing press for bands. Uh, and promotion and marketing and I've gotten really good at all this stuff or I feel like I have because I put a, I've invested a lot of time learning how to do all this stuff. I take online classes. I'm constantly watching videos. I'm constantly networking. I'm constantly going to events like NAM and seminars, uh, watching videos, reading articles, uh, signing up. Like for instance, uh, I don't know if you guys know Mike from Outer Loop, but he's been doing a lot of training stuff lately, and they've been giving out like some free management guides and uh, indie music and record label guides, and and you can pay to take their classes too. So hit up Outer Loop. But uh, so yeah, Swan with Sharks Entertainment is my main focus right now, and that is my marketing and promotions company. So like, let's say you're in a band and you have a new single out, and you need somebody to push the single. I can help with that. 
uh, let's say you're in a band and, and you have no idea what the hell you're doing and you need some consulting. I can help you with that. I can get you in touch with the right people. Swim with Sharks is kind of like a catch-all. If you're in a band and you need something, then you come to us and we help you get it. Uh, I do press. I do marketing, uh, promotion. We've, we work singles. Um, and I also work for tag publicity too. So some of these projects I'm actually going to be taking the tag and doing it in conjunction with them. But um, uh, if a band needs anything, send them my way. Uh, if you're on tour and you need tour promotion and press, this is, I'm basically public relations and marketing. So I, uh, one of the things I did was I put together this magazine. There's EMP on the back. Um, by the way, I do uh, stuff for EMP too. Not so much. I don't do that much anymore, but I used to do a lot more, but I'm going to try to start doing a lot more now that I'm not touring. But EMP label group is Ellison uh, music productions, Ellison, uh, Dave Ellison from Megadeth. That's his label. And Tom Hazar is awesome. And, um, so yeah, I do a lot of stuff, but my main focus is swimming with sharks. So look us up swimming with sharks entertainment. You can go to swimming with sharks entertainment.com. Uh, so one of the cool things I've done is put together this magazine and it's just got, um, industry advice and articles and you can get a free digital copy of this and the free sampler. You can get a free one of these online. Just go look up Swimming Sharks Entertainment and uh, and Making Waves Magazine. I'm working on Volume Two right now, and uh, we're just putting the final touches on it. By the way, the designer of this magazine, Shauna Heth, I think I'm saying her name right. Shauna, you're awesome. Uh, Shauna Heth, if you need awesome design work, uh, hit up Shauna or hit me up, and I can get you in touch with Shauna because she does awesome awesome work. <clears throat> but we're making uh, making waves volume two printing thousands upon thousands of copies of it and passing it out at the NAM convention um, I don't know if you guys know what NAM is but I'm sure around this time every year you see all the musicians and industry folk talking about NAM NAM this NAM that God NAM it and NAM N-A-M-M is uh, the biggest music convention in the world pretty much uh Anybody that makes a music product, guitar picks, drumsticks, guitars, drum sets, microphones, speakers, audio equipment, everything you can imagine music related, they're all there at NAMM showing off their newest products. And so, uh, and then they have a lot of business seminars and music business seminars and classes and people come there and like place their orders for new product. So like, let's say you work for Guitar Center. You might go to NAM and see what all the new products are and start placing orders early before everyone else to see what all the new shit is. So yeah, I'll be at NAM, And uh, that's what NAM is, a big, huge music convention. And pretty much uh, you have to be somebody in the music industry that's somewhat established or knows somebody or has a connect uh, or pay a lot of money uh, to go. And um, I always go to hang out with uh, Dream Symbols as a Dream Symbols artist. And uh, I usually go hang out with Tama drums, which I've been playing my whole career. I love Tama. Excel drumsticks. I don't think they're going to be there this year, but I'm going to be there supporting Excel personally. I'm going to walk around with a bag of Excel drumsticks and like talk to all the drummers about Excel. <clears throat> um, and then MEE Electronics. I go hang out with those guys. So, um, yeah, so I'm working on this Swimming with Sharks Entertainment really hard, but if you haven't noticed, the record labels too. Uh, Zombie Shark Records and Swimming with Sharks Records. Now, that's another question that people ask me all the time. Why do you have two labels? Well, it's a branding issue, okay? Um, you have to create a community around a brand, and the way that I do that is Swimming with Sharks Records is like heavy metal, extreme metal, death metal, experimental metal. It's like the heavy stuff that could not be mainstream or that isn't really considered mainstream. And if you know anything about metal elitists and metal purists, um, you know, they're really, they're, they're really kind of picky. So uh, they would, they would freak out if I had this rap metal stuff on Swim No Sharks records. <laughs> uh, seriously. So, yeah, and this is, by the way, my desk behind me. Yeah, welcome welcome to uh, Swim With Sharks and Zombie Shark Records headquarters. Uh, so, 
Swimming with Sharks Records. Uh, our main band is Eye of the Enemy. Eye of the Enemy. Seriously? If you have not listened to Eye of the Enemy, listen and listen well. Seriously, Eye of the Enemy, they're from Australia. And I kid you not, like, I have no idea why this band isn't bigger. I've been able to help them get over, uh, like, hundreds of thousands of plays on Spotify and everything. Like, they're probably the number one biggest seller that I've ever had. Um, Eye of the Enemy is like Lamb of God, Machine Head, Pantera, all rolled into one times a million. Like, this band should be huge. They should be the next Lamb of God, Metallica, Pantera. Go listen to Eye of the Enemy on, um, on Swim with the Sharks Records. And then we have another band called uh, Ritual of Odds from Greece and ritual of odds is kind of like in the soil work in flames realm. They're like melodic, you know, that Gothenburg sound. So go check out ritual of odds as well. And uh, we're looking for new bands. So those are only two active bands on swim with sharks records right now. We're about to announce another one, but like we're looking for bands on swim with sharks. So swimming with sharks records is the, the heavy metal, the death metal. Um, so, then they got Zombie Shark Records. Zombie Shark Records is like a newer venture. I'll show off my Zombie Shark. Zombie Shark. I cannot work this computer right now. Zombie Shark Records. I got a Zombie a Zombie Jaws too. Zombie Jaws. Oh wait, maybe we can compare it to the movie poster. Zombie. Zombie Jaws. I do not know how to do. I do not know how to do backwards physics here. Anyway, Zombie Shark Records is the new metal, the alternative metal. Uh, yeah. It's the industrial. It's the it's the poppy stuff. It's the mainstream stuff. It's the rap metal. It's the alternative metal. It's all that. So Swono Sharks Records, not very mainstream. Zombie Shark Records. Very mainstream. Uh, we got bands like Dirty Machine. Mike Weekly's in here. The drummer is in here. Um, <laughs> there's like a whole conversation going on. I'm not paying attention to, but uh, yeah, we got um. So yeah, we got Dirty Machine. Uh, Dirty Machine on Zombie Shark Records. They wear masks, and uh, well, most of them do, and uh, they're kind of like Slipknot meets Limp Biscuit, literally. They're Slipknot and Limp Biscuit combined. So they, they're like, they do a little bit of the rap metal thing, but they also have hard rock stuff that could be on radio. And um, they have a, a DJ, DJ Akusa. They're a great band. Many, a lot of people don't know this, but the lead singer of Dirty Machine was on MTV, like Road Rules and shit, you know? He was like a, M, he was like a reality star. And now he's doing Dirty Machine. Um, of course, we got Keychain from Canada. Uh, they're looking for a new singer. Um, love you, JP. Uh, love Keychain. Uh, go listen to Keychain's album, by the way. It was recorded by, like, the same people that recorded, like, ACDC and the Rolling Stones. It was mixed by the same guy who mixes, like, freaking Limp Biscuit and Corn and, like, it's it's crazy. So, yeah, Keychain is really good. Um, no Self from Florida. No Self is amazing. I love No Self. You have to listen to their album, Human Cyborg Relations, Episode 1. Uh, oh, my God, it's good. And, of course, uh, we released one of the Dark Cell albums in the U.S., Haunted Reality. Dark Cell is kind of like, you know, Marilyn Manson meets Rob Zombie, industrial, dark, a great live band. I toured them. Uh, we toured with El Nino together. <clears throat> so, yeah, Dark Cell is amazing. Um, Not As Lived is a great band, industrial new metal. Rickshaw. I love Rickshaw. Oh my God. I love Rickshaw. R-I-K-S-H-A. You got to check out Rickshaw. If you took the heavy elements of bands like Nothing Face and Cold Chamber and American Head Charge, and you mixed it with the uh, melodic elements of A Perfect Circle and Tool, uh, you would get Rickshaw. They're like a new metal band meets uh, like a Perfect Circle band type band. 
they're amazing. So Rickshaw's great. Um, of course, we have Junk from Dallas, Texas. Uh, Junk is awesome. Their their lead their lead guy Billy Blair. He's a he's a movie star. He's in tons of movies, and uh, we're trying to push Junk as hard as we can. They have a single out called Pop Rock Genocide. You got to go watch the music video. It's hilarious. And uh, Junk is a great band because Pop Rock Genocide is a is such a, it's like a such a classic rock song. Like that's that song could be on radio easily. I don't know why you know where. I don't know why more stations aren't playing it, but I am getting a bunch of stations to play it lately. Uh, the Eagle in Dallas is playing it, and uh, a bunch of internet radio stations are playing it. So, yeah, check out Pop Rock Genocide. Oh, man, look at all these people. What's up, guys? I see you, by the way. I know I'm just rambling, but I'm I'm seeing who's in here, so that's awesome. Thanks. I'm just, you know, talking about myself, doing what you do on my, on, I almost, dude, I almost said MySpace. <laughs> I'm doing what people do on Facebook. I'm talking about myself. Me, me, me. That's what social media is. Me, look at me. Um, but yeah, we're just talking about what I got, what I got going on. Swimming with Sharks Entertainment, Swimming with Sharks Records, Zombie Shark Records. I'm sure you're annoyed by, with it by now. I'm always promoting it. But, uh. If you want to pay attention to what we got going on, go to swimmingwithsharksentertainment.com and sign up for the the mail. You know, sign up for the newsletter because I'm like constantly sending out stuff about what we got going on, and I'm gonna try to be doing that more. So go sign up for the mailing list, and um, yeah, go download our samplers too. If you're sitting here and you're like, man, I'm not gonna remember all these bands, go to Swim with Sharks Records or Zombie Shark Records and download the free samplers. Each record label has its own free sampler and you can like check out all the bands in one place. So there you go. <clears throat> and give us your email address while you're at it so we can, uh, you know, talk later. Or I can try to sell you stuff. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, uh, I'm not dying or anything. I'm just I, I'm going to like do all the tests that I can never do because I'm touring so much. Like uh, somebody made a joke the other day about how when you're a touring musician, uh, <laughs> like your hospital is the emergency room, and that is not that's, that is there's nothing further from the truth. Uh, like when I'm touring, that's all I could ever do. I can't go see a doctor, so all I ever get to do is go to the emergency room, and they don't do anything. So I'm just going to get a bunch of stuff. I'm checked out. Like I'm having every test known to mankind done that I've never done because I've been on tour so much. So like I'm having a, a colonoscopy, a freaking MRI. Uh, I had an X-ray today, blood test today, urine test today. I'm doing stool samples. I mean, we're talking about everything. Uh, they're going to poke and prod me and just make sure I'm a healthy adult. I don't have some kind of weird, you know, prostate cancer or colon cancer or, Oof. can't uh, you know I just gotta say right now you guys can I want you to guys I want you guys to join in on the chat but fuck cancer dude fuck cancer um I don't know if you guys have seen uh our boy war beast you know Bruce Corbett uh from uh rigor mortis he is uh he's not doing so hot and uh if you want to go over to Bruce's page and just give him some positive, uh, man, he needs it. Just uh, Bruce from uh, Rigor Mortis, War Beast. He's battling cancer, and he has been for a while, and he's put up a good fight. He's a warrior. Uh, also, my mom, you know, she's been battling cancer for a long time. So, yeah, fuck cancer. Um, damn. Anyway. I don't want to get all uh, I don't want to get all um, sad here, but basically, what I've decided to do is I want to try to tour a little a little bit less. Like I feel like I got a lot of that out of my system. Like I still want to tour and I still want to play in bands, definitely. I just want to tour a little bit less so that I can uh, have a little bit more comfortable life and and not live in a van. And um, I want to be able to do more for these record labels more than I ever have. And I want to be able to to do the marketing and promotion stuff more than I ever have. 
because I feel like it's something that I have a lot of potential with and that I'm, I'm decent at. And I want to help as many bands as possible and um, just get ahead in the music business. So that's like literally all I'm focusing on right now is just furthering the labels and furthering the entertainment business as, as far as I can push it. I've, I've, I've applied and contacted and reached out to like everyone that you can possibly imagine. If, if, if you name a record label, I've applied or hit them up or, you know, I'm just trying to do everything I can. And as some of you know, um, I got a call from a huge record label yesterday or the day before and they want me to go out. So, um, I got to be there at noon tomorrow in LA, Los Angeles. I'm making a trip out to LA and I'm going to go to this record label and see what they want. And, and who knows? Um, they might want me to do an internship. They might want to hire me. Maybe they want me to drum for a band. I, you know, I don't know, but they said they really want to talk to me and meet me. And, um, so I'm going to go do that. Uh, Los Angeles. And, uh, I mean, I, I really don't care if anyone knows or doesn't know who it is, but I don't know. I don't want to be that guy. So by the way, if you're just joining us, this is Solus Diaz, the drummer of, uh, my, my good friend, Austin, the drummer of devil driver and a uh, chimera. He plays in Solus Diaz too. So, although, you know, I'm not really a football or a sports guy at all, but if I did have a team, it'd be the Raiders because they're the most metal. So whatever. I'm not really a football guy. Oh, why is this not scrolling? So Matthew James, do you not have a drummer or something? What happened to your drummer? I might actually, I might actually take you up on that someday, Matthew. I'll do a tour. I don't know. You do have a bus. Let me bring my girlfriend. She can do merch. Wink. Yo. Uh, sure. I'm doing a live video. Huh? I'm doing a live video right now. <laughs> Huh? Oh. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I'll see you later. Yeah, good night. Yeah, it seems to be All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. All right, have a good night. You too. All right, excellent. We'll do it. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. We got a lot of people in here. Some familiar faces. If you're just joining us, I'm just doing what people do on Facebook and uh, just talking about myself. Man, it's all about me, man. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, Noah, you're a badass. I played with you in Chico, California like five years ago. Damn, son, five years ago? I'm like a totally different person and drummer now, but that's awesome. Um, hey, Lauren. <laughs> Laura's in here. What's up, Laura? I'll get to see you soon. Laura's coming down for the NAM convention. We're going to go on a mini vacation together. we got a hotel, and we're just going to rock star out and go to NAM. Who else is going to NAM? I know I'm gonna see a bunch. I'm gonna see a bunch of people at NAM. It's gonna be crazy. Josh Harris, what's up? Josh Harris, he works with No Self. He does a lot for No Self. We were just talking about No Self. I'm just hanging out, like. I'm just randomly hanging out, talking to people. 
telling people about what's going on in Shark World. Uh, so, like, I want to start making a lot more videos. And, like, um, instead of just making posts all the time about what's going on and flooding people with all the bullshit, um, I want to uh, make videos and just talk about what's going on. And just give updates because someday I'm going to be old and I'm going to look back at these videos and uh, think of what a dumb young asshole I was. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I uh, I just want to get I just want to provide a face for the uh, countless music posts, you know, and hang out with people, talk about stuff and things. DJ Akusa, see you there. Hell yeah. Love the Jaws poster. Yeah, I have a huge collection of, of shark stuff. Um, like, my shark collection is stupid. You guys would, would be... I, I'm ashamed of it. <laughs> I shouldn't be ashamed, but... Uh, everything shark that you can possibly imagine, I have. David Incognito. Hey, Noah, so when can we shop? When can we talk shop about Incognito Theory working with you and your label, sir? Uh, incognito Theory. You know, I like the band. You, you guys are a good band. You got some strong things going for you. Uh, I guess what turned me off is that you just instantly started talking about a lawyer, and it's like, dude, come on. But um, I'll be willing to check it out again and, and see what's up. You know, I, I'm, off, I'm offering a lot of services through Swim with Sharks Entertainment. So you should, you should check out Swim with Sharks Entertainment and see what's up. But, yeah, I have a lot of shark stuff. I have shark jaws, shark teeth. I have shark movies. Of course, I have jaws and Deep Blue Sea. And like a, I have a huge shark movie collection. Like every, every shark movie you could possibly freaking imagine I have. Uh, like Shark Attack the movie shark documentaries. I have shark shoes. I have stuffed, uh, sharks, shark toys, shark posters, shark paintings, uh, shark, everything, dude. It's crazy. I, I would be willing to show you some of these items. If you actually, if anybody gives a shit, but um, Mark McKellar, what's the best way to submit for consideration? Would love to talk to you about working with Resonant out of Boston. Uh, the best way is to go to Swarm with Sharks Entertainment. Or you can just email Noah Shark Robertson. Mike Ingram, massive Star Wars collection. Nice. Uh, yeah, just go to Noah Shark Robertson at gmail.com or go to Swarm with Sharks Entertainment and we can talk about working together. Uh, dude, I love getting your emails and promos. Your excitement comes through and how you write them. Thank you. That's awesome. And I, I you know, I am excited about it because I'm not just some douchebag trying to rip off bands. I actually care about what I do. And, uh, I've, you know, I have yet to rip anyone off or fuck anyone over because I've been there. That's why I do this. Like, because I'm a musician first and foremost. I'm not just some dude in the suit. Uh, I mean, I am in a desk and chair. But uh, I'm not just some guy in a suit. Uh, I'm not just some guy in a suit trying to rip off bands. You know, I'm a musician, and I've signed a lot. I've signed record deals and, and all that, so I know what's up. I know what's up. Uh, we got shark comments here. Street sharks, Jabberjaw. Yes, Carl. I actually do have those items. I have a. I actually have a DVD that has every episode of Street Sharks on it. Boom. What's up? Try and stump me, fool. Hey, Shark Boy, come set up drums for me. JD. JD's in a band called Dog Vein. And I forgot his other band, but uh, JD, I am going to come over soon. I got to uh, I gotta go to a record label tomorrow and meet up in L.A., but when I get back, I'm going to come hang out. I collect stuffed toys. Nice, Paul. <laughs> Caleb says hi. Cool. Oh, Death by Chaos is his other band. JD. 
Yeah, I'll come hang out and set up your drums, dude. No problem. I actually want to set that kid up. It's a because it's I'm pretty sure of Tama, and I love Tama. But um, yeah. Uh, I collect a lot of shark stuff. Is that what we were talking about? Sharks? Yeah, I have a lot of shark stuff. Actually, you know what? I will show off two items. I will show off two of my shark items right now. Oh, oh! Speaking of Tama, boom. And yes, this is the shipping department. The shipping department of uh, swimming with sharks and zombie sharks, uh, CDs and all kinds of stuff. Here's a Rick. Here's a rickshaw CD right here. So that you can order from us. Why am I wearing a hat? I don't even wear a hat. I was just wearing it so I could promote my friend's band, Solus Diaz. <laughs> All right. I'm going to show off. Uh, now I look like a fucking crazy person. I need a haircut. Get a haircut, hippie. I'm going to show off a couple of my shark related items here. This is a real actual shark jaws. Shark's jaw. Somebody screenshot this. Wait. Sc screenshot me, bro. Anyway, this is a shark's jaw. A real one. So, like, like to give you an example, this shark could bite my arm off. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Just also wanted to say, we at Shadow of Crows appreciate your feedback. We'll be working hard on getting a tighter recording, and hopefully we pass paths soon. Yeah, dude. Totally. Tory Butler. Mick Rivers back. <laughs> Eric Ware. Uh, Street Shark extraordinaire. He says my Lego collection is out of control. Dude, you're awesome with Legos. I want to play Legos with you. I want to play Legos with you soon. He made like a Limp Biscuit Lego set and a Dirty Machine Lego set, and it was awesome. DJ Akusa Funko Pop collection, nice. So anyway, here's a shark jaw, a real one. It could bite your freaking arm off. I mean, this thing's huge. But uh, if you've never seen a real shark jaw, check it out. The shark's teeth grow in like a conveyor belt. And they just keep continuously growing nonstop over and over again. So, for instance, when a shark loses a tooth, that's why there's thousands upon millions upon billions of shark teeth in the ocean. Because uh, whenever a shark loses its tooth, there's literally one just waiting to conveyor belt back into place. So, like, at all times, they have these, like, little backup rows of teeth just waiting. A lot of people don't know that. But, yeah, because um, whenever you see, like, pictures of sharks, it's always just, like, a shark's mouth, like a T-Rex, and you just see each individual tooth. But, like, if you look behind the teeth, freaking crazy-ass conveyor belt of teeth just waiting to take the uh, old one's place. So, yeah, this is something I cherish. I love this shark jaw. Uh, and this next item that I have is very entertaining. I'll probably watch this video later just so I can watch this part. Uh, let me see what people are saying here. Down to Lego with you anytime. Nice. All right, so check this out.
like an idiot time waster <sighs> uh, enjoy that shower Akusa and I appreciate you not engaging in a waffle stomp you're gonna watch Jaws now nice we're gonna need a bigger boat you know that line was imp improvised I'm a shark nerd I know everything about sharks and Jaws but yeah that line was improvised. We're going to need a bigger boat. Sign the shark. Yeah. So anyway, that concludes our uh, broadcast for this evening. Uh, we've been live here for about 40 minutes. So uh, I'm going to be making more of these updates. If I get enough positive response, if you guys want me to make these updates, what I'd like to do is um, talk about the music label music record the record music label stuff and uh, just tell you guys what's going on in shark world at all times um, so yeah let's let's recap um, I'm working on swimming with sharks entertainment like crazy swimming with sharks entertainment marketing and promotion and promo for bands making waves magazine is something we got going on um, zombie shark records New metal, alternative metal, swim with sharks records, heavy metal, traditional metal, death metal. Check us out. Become more involved in what we do. Help independent artists and labels. Because, like, I'm going all the way with this, and I need your guys' help. I need you guys to help these bands and help support me. Um, we need fans. We need people interacting with us. We need, uh, you know, we, we need street teamers. Go look up those, uh, the Street Sharks official street team. The Street Sharks uh, is kind of all-encompassing. It's a street team, and if you want to learn about the music business and meet other like-minded people and learn stuff and figure out how to help promote bands and get free stuff, join our street team. The uh, <laughs> Waffle Stomp. The... Uh, uh, the Street Sharks is the way to go. Go look up uh, Street Sharks. What role did Peter eventually play? JD. Okay, you know what? JD, I got something for you before I end this. Uh, well, if I know where it is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it right now. Who is? He's asking me who Peter eventually is. Come on, dude. Where is it? Dang it. Oh, here it is. Boom. All right. So JD is trying to stump me with the shark stuff. He just asked me, uh, what, what role did Peter Benchley play in Jaws? Uh, well, he actually wrote the freaking book. Peter Benchley wrote Jaws. Oh, and he also just happened to um, sign this copy. So, yeah. Suck it, nerds. You can't outshark me. I will not be outsharked. Uh, I have this complex where, like, anything that I do or I'm involved with, I have to be the best. Which, I mean, that's a good way to be, right? That's what we all want to do is we want to aspire to be the best. Well, I'm kind of like, I take that to the extreme. And so, like, with my drumming, you know, I, um, I'm not I'm not the best drummer in the world by any means. I'm not saying that. But I strive to be, you know, like, I try to learn everything I can. Actually, right next to me is, like, every drum book that's ever been sold. So, uh, but, yeah, with the shark stuff, like, I just want to have more shark tattoos than anyone. I want to have more shark stuff than anyone. I want to know more about sharks. But, I mean, I'm not perfect, but I try. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh Oh, here we go. JD. But he's also in the movie, so what was his role? 
you know, I do remember that. Uh, Peter Benchley is like he's like he pulls a Stan Lee. He's like one stupid little significant thing in it. He's he's like a janitor, or he's like serving like hot dogs or ice cream on the beach, or he's like a news reporter. I think he's a news reporter. Uh, my final my final answer would be that he's a news reporter of some kind. Am I wrong? I hope I'm not wrong. Yeah, I'm right. Ah, oh, got it. I win a million dollars. I win a million Sharkopoly dollars, dude. Speaking of Shark Sharkopoly. Oh my god. I own Sharkopoly. The band Junk. Billy Blair, thank you. The band Junk sent me this. Dude, it's a real thing. I own Sharkopoly. Boom. I want to play it. JD, we need to get drunk and play this, dude. Are you kidding me? Sharkopoly? Look at these pieces. Like, instead of Monopoly pieces, it's like little shark-related stuff. It's like a fin and a Jaws and a shark. Dude, Sharkopoly, man. This is like the best present I've ever gotten. I said that so gay. And I mean that in, a, you know, like, exuberantly, happily. Oh, my God, Sharkopoly. It's like the best present I've ever gotten. Oh, my God. Yeah, totally, dude. Peter Benchley was the reporter. Man, how did I get that? Yeah, I'm a shark nerd. All right, anyway. Uh, um, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to uh, get tie up some loose ends and get some work done and then uh, get ready to go to this uh, record label meeting tomorrow in L.A., uh, getting ready for NAM. I have a bunch of clients that hired me to help uh, – which this is the first time, by the way, I've ever had paying like clients for Sonoma Sharks Entertainment. Everything I've done so far has like just been to help people out, to build my name and build my resume. I just finally started accepting paid clients because I'm at a point with it where I feel like my skills and my abilities are uh, are warranting pay. So hit me up and see what I can do for you and your band. I I'm not. I'm not this weird and creepy all the time, I promise. I can be professional. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> everybody uh, everybody is awesome. Everything is awesome. And the only parting thing that I would say is, um, just like Mar Bob Marley would agree, if you put positive into the universe, you'll get positive out. And if you put negative into the universe, you're going to get negative out. Um, so I've been trying to stay as positive as I can, think positive, do positive, help people as much as possible, and um, I hopefully it comes back to me. Karma. Hey, yeah.